I have to find the right AC adapter to uh, power this if I want to uh, supply the right voltage. But I also have this uh, USB power bank. This uses 18650s and I have a boost converter added to the power bank. So this not only supply USB power 5 volt, there's a 5 volt output here also. It can actually output anywhere from like um, 5 to 35 volt. So this is much more flexible. And the way I set this up is the 18650s, there are four of them, and they're in parallel. So I just solder one wire at the positive, one wire at the negative, and then this go underneath this uh, platform here, put a small fuse, and then it goes up to the power booster here, voltage booster. So if I need to power something, this is uh, 9 volt, 7 to 9 volt. So I just set it, this booster, to 9 volt. And then I put uh, this barrel connector into the input here. This P-Touch has an a input for a AC adapter. Some don't. And so after you plug it in, you don't need your battery anymore. And uh, I can print out my label. So this would be one use of your uh, your power booster and uh, you just have to be very careful when you do this because the input some of them are center negative and some of them are center positive you just have to make certain that you got it right this is a uh, blood pressure monitor this one is 6 volt. So if I want to um, use the booster on this, I just have to set it to 6 volt. So this exits more or less. It's not a battery eliminator. I'm still using 18650, but this would be very versatile. I can power anything like 5 to 35 volt. I just have to adjust this. In fact, uh, what I am planning on doing is I'm going to put in a potentiometer here. You see this type of potentiometer you need like a very small screwdriver to make the adjustment. I'm thinking of adding like a, a pot with a, a knob so it's to make it easier to to change the, uh, the voltage and the voltage uh, part that I have here is a 50k so I just have to replace this with one that has like a like a knob um, so I can make the adjustment easier that way so you see a lot of these gadgets pressure monitor p-touch printer they use there's a whole bunch of AA batteries. Um, I don't use this a whole lot, but when I use it, you know, if you leave the batteries in there for too long, they might corrode or they might not have enough power in them. With this, this is rechargeable. I just recharge it, plug in USB, uh, or I can even top it off a little bit if I have some sun. And... Uh, this would be a very good use of the boost converter. This type, this type of boost converter is about $10 on eBay. Another one of the gadgets I'm working on is a USB 
um, charger. This one is like 3 amps and I added like a input for it so I can plug in anything that is 6 to 24 volt. So I would be able to plug this in. All I have to do is make a, a barrel con connector and then I plug this in and I would have I can use AC or I can also use DC if uh, I have access to like a 12 volt battery I just connect positive to positive of the battery negative to negative and I can I can use this charger to charge whatever USB devices so it will be sort of like an AC DC um, USB um, charger 